Hello, welcome to my second tutorial video. In this video, we will be covering the basics of using the MI24A, D, V, P, and MI35M in combined arms realistic battles. There are three broad ways to use your hind in this game mode, with rockets, air-to-air -air missiles, and ATGMs. Which is best depends on the situation. To start with, you will only have rockets. S5s are inaccurate, but can still get work done. S8 rockets are much better, and can even be used to snipe with. When you are using rockets, there are two options. First, you can strike at a group of enemies and deal out a lot of distributed damage. This is a good way to get a lot of assists and ensure that you can respawn in a ground vehicle, as the chances are you won't make it back from such an attack. However, causing a substantial chunk of the enemy team to be mobilized at the start of a match for 30 seconds due to engine fires shouldn't be underestimated. While you can use bombs, it isn't worth it 9 times out of 10. You have to get too close to use them, and unless your target is a bunched up group on the capture point, you would be able to service more targets with rockets. If you must, the MI-24D is the best, as it has a rocket and bombs combination available. This might change with the other versions of the Heinz in the future. If you are taking this approach, it is best to attack from the sides or the rear of your target. Frontal armor will easily block your rockets, so be very mindful of enemy SPAA because they will swatch you out of the sky faster than you can blink. The other option is to be selective in your targets and pick off enemy snipers who are in difficult to reach positions. Eliminating these guys can really help out your team, more so than killing some random tank in the melee. Use your map knowledge from playing on the ground to know where to look for them. If you are going to take this approach, I would recommend the MI-24P due to its cannon. It has enough penetration for shooting through the sides, rear and roof of many tanks. Also, consider what nation you are fighting. If I'm fighting non-US teams, I prefer the rocket attack method. If it's the US, I prefer the next method. After some work, you will unlock air-to-air -air missiles on the MI-24B and P. Don't bother using the R-60s, as they are absolute trash. Wait for the R-60M. These air-to-air -air missiles will give you the ability to totally dunk on anything that isn't a well-researched AH-1Z with flares, and you can start sweeping the sky of other helicopters. Even enemy planes will become good targets for you. However, don't get complacent with the missiles. Skilled opponents will know how to dodge them, and then you're back to just using your gun. For this reason, I would favour the V over the P in this role, as the turret and high rate of fire is very forgiving. That said, the cannon on the P is very accurate and powerful, which could be more suitable for you. Try them both out and find out which fits you best. If you are doing this at match start, I recommend taking the S8 pods with your R60Ms. Your objective is to take out enemy helicopters away from ground cover, eliminate an enemy tank or two that has strayed too far from the herd, and then camp out at the enemy helicopter spawn. This should earn you a good number of kills and points before you die. The big benefit of focusing on enemy air is that you are taking away a lot of spawn points from their better players, if not knocking them out from the match entirely. This is my preferred target against USA teams, as they always try to use a lot of helicopters and shutting down all of the ATGM helicopters in the early and mid game before they can mole your team is invaluable. The last method is using ATGMs. This is very straightforward. You want to get fairly high in order to look over cover and stay out of range of ground fire. Try to have some constant but small drift up or down and to the sides to protect yourself from APFSDS snipers. ATGMs usually require more violent maneuvering to dodge, if you see them. You also need to keep an eye out for enemy air trying to intercept you. 
might think that the MI-35M is the best choice here, but I don't think so. It has only 80 GMs and rockets, but no air-to-air -air missiles, and these are contested skies. As a result, it would be a very rare match where you are given the time and space needed to use all 16 of your Attakas, and I find that the MI-24V or P to be better here, as if the airspace is contested, you can defend yourself with some R-60Ms, but if the skies are clear, you can load up on h derm ATGMs, which is plenty. Another thing that you can do is land on isolated and undefended points of the map. This can be quite effective on maps like Volkolomansk, as the enemy will need to drive a long distance to counter what you are doing. Even just decapturing zones can give your team the time they need to turn things around. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, and subscribe for new videos in the future.